You're watching Eagle News International. Researchers at Emory University are using eye tracking technology to screen babies for signs of autism in the first months of their lives. Katie Gonzalez reports. In this darkened test room, Lucy Keene is watching videos. And while the videos play, researchers are watching Lucy. Using specialized hidden cameras, they are tracking her eye movement, looking for signs of autism. Autism is a neurological disorder that affects communication and social interaction skills. Lucy's mom, Melissa, recalls how she struggled to get a diagnosis for Lucy's older brother, Patrick. I was met with a lot of resistance, um, you know, really since my son was born. You know, I kept saying, I don't feel like it, sh it should be this different, but I didn't have a name for it. Patrick, now six years old, was diagnosed with Asperger's an autism spectrum disorder at around the same time Lucy was born. Knowing that children with family members who have autism are 20 times more likely to develop the disorder themselves, Melissa enlisted Lucy in a clinical trial at the Marcus Autism Center in Atlanta. What this study really shows us is that it is possible to identify robust signs of social disability within the first months of life. And these are the earliest ever identified signs of autism. The initial trial used two groups of babies, one at high risk of developing autism and one at low risk. The babies came to the clinic every couple of months to watch videos embedded with visual markers, while researchers used cameras to record their eye movements in order to gauge their attention span. And in the group of children who were later diagnosed with autism, the researchers were able to see a measurable decline in attention spans within the first two months of their lives. Autism is usually diagnosed between four to five years of age, which is why Joan says this new screening process could prove to be a game changer. So our hope is that by developing these kind of tools, which are objective measurements of a baby's behavior, you could speed that process of early detection and get more children more quickly to the kind of intervention services that would really help in the long term. Services such as behavioral therapy or medication. Warren Jones and his team are now conducting a broader study in an attempt to fine-tune their screening tool. He says this technology will one day give doctors a head start on diagnosing and managing autism early enough to make a difference. Katie Gonzalez, Eagle News.